everyone. I hope you're doing well. This is a touch of tarot and this is going to be a divinely guided message for you. So we're going to see what comes up. Interestingly enough, we're starting with the hangman and I do just want to first of all, sorry, say um, thank you so much for everyone on my Patreon channel. So the message that we're starting with today is from a divine masculine who is coming out as the hung man. And in this deck, which is Tarot of the Thousand and One Nights, you can find it in the link below. This is actually the bound man. And so this is someone who is not just stuck in a situation. I really feel that your person, your divine masculine, is really getting thrown around in a sense. You know, this may be business, um, relationships. I'm just getting finances are coming out very heavily. Um, that's the word I'm hearing. So this person is not just stuck. Like they are bound to something and someone else has the control. Okay. This is almost like a dog on a leash. And it's really interesting because at the bottom of the deck is the fool card. So it's almost like this person is really, I don't know, because even in the fool card, it's like they feel lost, even if they were to have a new beginning, right? So there's this energy of truly um, not knowing what to do, being under the control of someone else, and wondering how they can have a fresh start, because it's almost like this person is so used to the whatever treatment they've been dealing with, that they've almost gotten comfortable with it. They've almost gotten comfortable doing what people want them to do and complying, okay? Even if this person is the provider, they may have an issue with speaking up and people just may be running the show. And I am seeing behind the fool card, um, I'm seeing the ace of pentacles and it's depicting a female in the middle of nowhere. And so I'm not sure what that's about, but she looks very peaceful, where here, when I see this masculine energy, um, you know, I almost feel like he's wondering, yeah, if I did break free, what would I do? And it's almost like if this person broke free from this situation, they would be lost. It's like they have nothing out there. I think that whatever this person is tied to so heavily, um, it has to do with a home, a foundation, because in this picture, we're seeing this beautiful background. Like, even though this person is like, even though a dog is tied up to a situation, right, or stuck in a kennel or something, here it's like they have food, they have gold, they have what they need here, right? Here, if they were to free themselves, it's almost like they have this vision that they would be in a desert or lost without this person that they're tied to or whatever it is that they're tied and bound to, okay? Um, this can also be representing anything, like even mental restrictions. Really interesting beginning of the reading. So let's see what this message is from the Divine Masculine who is seriously bound to a situation right now and kind of feeling hopeless. In the background of this picture, I am seeing a donkey getting whipped. I mean, it's not nice here, whatever it is. There's people in this scenario that are really trying to control the situation, okay? So what else does this bound man have to say to the divine feminine, this divine masculine to the divine feminine? So we have the seven of wands. <clears throat> This person is stuck. They want you to know they're stuck right now. I don't know if you can see what's going on in here. For some of you, you're probably looking for your divine masculine, wondering where the heck are they or why is this taking them so long? In here, there is actually a merman tied up in a net. So this person has been caught. This is a very strong um, message here with the almost dog on a leash energy. And now we have like the fish in the net energy. Um, some of you may be dealing with someone because this person looks like the exact same character with a long beard, with hair, medium length of some sort, but like, you know, bushy beard on their face, any ethnicity or race, of course. Um, but this is heavy. There's someone here who has literally trapped this person. It's like they probably want to tell you, I have been trapped. I've been caught and trapped. Um, for some of you, if your person has disappeared, they literally could be kidnapped. You know what I mean? It's a very heavy energy here. 
So let's see what else this person wants to tell you. From the Divine Masculine who is trapped in a situation to the Divine Feminine, what does this person want you to know? The Wheel of Fortune. This person is waiting for a breakthrough with the Eight of Cups here. This person is waiting for an opportunity to break out of this circle, out of this community, out of whatever it is, this emptiness. Um, but like, once again, you see here in the Wheel of Fortune, this person is sitting there in a peaceful spot, okay? Even though there's no one there, no true love, right? Like there's no one there. There's growth from the environment, beautiful. Um, nature, beautiful. But this person is alone in this peaceful spot. And it's almost like if they were to break free Eight of Cups, they go in to this like wild ocean. So once again, I feel like this person feels lost if they were to leave this structure, even though they feel completely trapped in it. You know? And for some of you, this person, they fully remember you. Like there's this rose just standing in the middle of a pond. And it's almost like when they do have some time alone, like they just think of how things could be or how good. I'm not sure what the symbology is of a rose. It's like almost like love hurts, right? So maybe they do think of you, but they're so afraid of more pain or hurt that they possibly stay in a suffering position or they just stay alone. I really feel like the person you're dealing with has built so much because even here, see that huge tree? So it's like they've built some sort of a legacy, but it is definitely not what they planned because now they're trapped. It's almost like what you own owns you. What this person owns, owns them is what I'm getting here because now they just feel like they're on their own little island, you know? Okay. Wow. Okay. What else does this person want to tell you? So they're trapped. What they own, owns them. Yeah. What else does this hangman want to tell you? Let me know if you're liking these messages in this format. I've actually recorded so many over the last couple days during Valentine's time. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so let me know. So, yeah, I wanted to come out. We have the Eight of Cups. And this is saying that this person does want to walk away. This person, um, I'm not going to say walk away. Escape is what I'm hearing. This person does want to escape. This person does want to go for that Nine of Cups. We have the king here um, alone you know once again this king is in this beautiful area uh, but alone and almost guarding his treasures which is really interesting like there's a very special treasure chest next to this person we'll see what comes up but the eight of cups is saying i do want to leave this situation but i don't know how or what i would do if i left i believe this person is worried about losing everything that they have accumulated for some reason this person feels that way so technically everything they've accumulated could be in someone else's name because it absolutely flabbergasts me <laughs> i don't know where i'm getting these words from um to understand like why this person is so trapped it's literally a message of being trapped if i was an investigator i would be worried about this person right now okay but i mean i'm taking it to the extreme this person is trapped in a situation i don't believe it's just mental but yes definitely there's mental constrictions because this person whenever they think about escaping their situation it's like they think that they would be um lost in the abyss or something like that and what i'm also getting is this person wants you to know like they came from nothing and like they want you to know they came from nothing this whoever trapped them kind of um i don't know knew that they came from nothing or something like that like they they worked on them like i'm gonna show you how to do stuff i'm gonna show you opportunities it's almost like a trickster granted them wishes, but everything of their wishes was in the trickster's name. Like, you know, it's so bizarre. So the card that flipped over is the Knight of Wands. This person um, really wants you to know 
that they want to come to you. They want to come into you. This is crazy because wait till you see what happens after. It's almost like they would have to escape. And you see the turban. So some of you may be dealing with someone from India or turban. Um, it could be Middle East. It could be anything here, right? Like um, Turkish, anything. So what I'm getting though with the turban is just that like this person's head is heavily thinking about how to get out of this, how to escape. And this is almost... Uh, what they see themselves doing. However, first of all, notice this person's on a donkey. And we already spoke of this energy here where there's a donkey being whipped. It's really heavy energy. I really feel like your person is se severely trapped in a situation. And I feel like my guides are relating it to me in the best way that I could understand. So it's just reminding me of like literally things that no one wants to be a part of, being forced to do things and being forced to stay somewhere. So if this person was to escape, they're escaping on the donkey that's already also uh, brainwashed and controlled by the system that they are in. And not only that, it's almost like if they were to escape, I feel like this is what's behind them. And it's almost like a whole group of an army coming after them. So it's like this person wants you to know, I want to come. I'm figuring out a way how to come. My resources are minimal. Um, I'm being watched as well. I'm being watched. That's what I'm hearing. I'm being watched. And there is someone in the background here watching. There's like spies. It's almost like whenever this person starts realizing they can free themselves, um, someone picks up on that and then starts distorting their mind or something like that or bringing in fear energy like if you leave we'll be in danger if you leave you know we'll get you on this type of thing like you can't leave and also what i'm getting here this is really heavy guys let's see where we're at wow it might go on a bit longer i'm getting here that this person is worried about putting some of you in danger now this person isn't dealing with all this heavy, heavy energy that I'm picking up here, then it could literally be that they're worried about bringing gossip and drama into your life if they were to come to you. Okay, and remember, Six of Wands is about someone who often in the tarot, sometimes, there's so many things it's about, but someone who's putting on a show for others. So I think this person has kind of acted like they're one way um, for whoever this circle is. Sorry about that. There was a fire alarm that went off. So I am going to actually do an extended on this reading and put it on my Patreon because I think you get the main message from your person. It's that they want to come in, but honestly, there's clearly something tying them um, to another situation. And this is my plot twist card. And I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. So this is actually a great time to... Um, end this part of the reading. If you're on my Patreon, you can see the extended. I'm just going to dig into this further. It's probably a uh, continual message. This person is trapped right now, having trouble getting to you. Um, but hopefully there's some higher guidance here or something. I mean, look at the card that did come out. The plot twist is two people on that like magic little... Um, roller coaster there so we'll see what happens maybe this person will be able to escape but thank you so